One of the entry points that would help in a vaccine conversation um, that's an MI piece is what we call EPE. It's evoke, provide, and evoke. It's the way we give information in um, motivational interviewing and the first part of it is evoking from the person what they already know or believe. So we ask them, so what do you already know about vaccinations? And they tell us and they give us all kinds of information or no information as it, as it comes out. If they give us information, even if it's information that is personal beliefs rather than based on research, we're going to allow that and just and, and what we're going to do after that actually is give them an affirmation for their knowledge. So we'll say something like, you already know quite a bit about this, or you've already done some research on this. And then we're going to ask a question. We're going to ask permission to give them more information. So we're going to say, would you like to have the freshest, most up-to-date information on vaccinations? And hopefully they'll say yes. 99% of the time they say yes. Then their ears open, they're listening, and then we tell them. And we don't counter any of the information they gave us. We just give them the information we've got, which is the most up to date. And at the end of that, we say, so here's all the information now that you have. Given that, how does that change the way you're thinking or feeling about vaccinating your child, if that changes anything at all? And that gives them that moment to integrate all the information and perhaps change their way of thinking, change their mind about doing something different. Giving information like this has been very effective in, in changing other health uh, uh, behaviors. Um, MI started in uh, alcohol misuse behaviors. And what we found is that this way of integrating information involves the person in his or her own process, gives a lot of autonomy to the, to the client or the patient, and allows them a certain amount of um, mm, uh, personal affirmation, uh, self-determination, and it does lead to a change. Uh, it's one of the key processes that we use that helps people change.